Your voice, your vote. The results are in for Wisconsin's special election, the only race for a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, and Republican Tom Tiffany is the winner over Democrat Trisha Zunker. And this morning, for the first time we're hearing from the Congressman-elect, he'll take over the 7th Congressional District seat until the November election. He's joining us live. Thanks for being with us this morning, Tom. Yeah, it's good to be here, Josh. Good. So my first question for you, residents in this district have been without represent representation for quite a while in that time during an impeachment and the early stages of this pandemic. So what does it mean to you to be the newest voice, especially right now? Well, you made a very good point. We need to have somebody in Washington, D.C. that's representing the 700,000 people that make up the 7th Congressional District. And we're going to hit the ground running right away here this morning. Um, I'll be hiring my staff out in Washington, D.C., as well as in the district, because we've got a lot of work to catch up on. And you, you say you have a lot of work. You have a short amount of time for that work, too, because you have about five months in office before another election. So how are you going to balance your time in Washington and your time campaigning? Well, I've always spent a lot of time in the district serving as a state senator, mm -hmm. and I think it'll be the same here, is uh, spending time in the 7th Congressional District, making sure that I'm meeting with people, doing that outreach, and then taking that message back to Washington, D.C. I'm sure there's going to be some critical votes here, because this really is um, an unusual time that we have not seen in recent history. So I'll be doing my job in Washington, D.C., but making sure that I keep my ear to the ground here in northern and uh, western Wisconsin. And you said it yourself, an unusual time. You've been outspoken about getting Wisconsinites back to work amid this pandemic. And 57% of the voters picked you. What kind of message do you think this sends state lawmakers, even federal lawmakers, and how will you voice that message? Yeah, it was really a decisive victory, but I think it goes to my track record. I'm tested, I'm proven, and people want somebody in Washington, D.C. that they know will go out and carry uh, the message from this district out to Washington, D.C. And I do think that it's time to reopen. We know so much more now about COVID-19. We know who it affects. It's primarily the elderly, those people that have underlying health conditions. And we can do a much better targeted regional approach, I believe, in reopening our economy. And it's important that we do that, if nothing else, for the health of our citizens, because we have hospitals and clinics that have closed down here in northern Wisconsin, and uh, we got to get them back open. We need to get businesses back open also, and we can do it safely and responsibly. All right. Thank you so much, Tom. That's all the time we have for you this morning, but we appreciate you joining us. Thanks for giving me the time today.